In this video, I'm going to show you the four engines I have in my garage. Um, the things I like, the things I don't like about them. I have a couple different projects going on around here. I have a 1936 GMC truck that has a aluminum 5.3 liter. It has aluminum heads and aluminum block. And it's going to have a Domo LS hydro throttle body kit or whatever you want to call it. Uh, try to make it look more old school, but be very fuel efficient and lightweight. I'll show you that engine, but also I have a 1950 Mercury. I think it's a 255. Um, I have a Chevy inline six, uh, 207 engine. And then I also have a normal Chevy 350, but the 350 is for my 67 Chevy short bed C10. Um, it's gonna be converted to portable drive, so it has a transfer case on it, a 208. This is a Mercury engine. Uh, you know, four and Mercury's are fairly similar. These Mercury's actually had a bigger crank in them. Um, one thing you can tell is the distributor is coming out of the front and comes out at an angle. Uh, you have a coil over here, um, and you have a water pump on both sides of the engine. I always think that's pretty interesting. Um, there's no crossover um, from one side of the engine to the other like you do on a lot of the Chevy engines. So you have a water pump here, and you have a water pump there. Um, you know, your crank pulley is down there. Um, your outlet is down there. I love, on these flatheads, I love these engine stands mounted to your water pumps. I just, I feel like that's probably the easiest mounting for like hot rods ever, which is pretty cool. Down here you have your starter. Carburetor up here, uh, just a little two barrel. Um, Back here, I couldn't even tell you. I'm assuming that is some kind of gear driven fuel pump. I've never worked on a flathead. Uh, I'm excited to have one because I do want to work on it, but I've never had one. So it's kind of new to me. And up here, this is a generator, not an alternator. Alternators are more like on this 350. I love how the uh, flatheads mount them right up front. It keeps the whole engine really narrow. If you look at it versus the 350 the 350 is really wide um obviously the 350 has a lot more power you know this is a uh, newer engine so they're a lot more efficient um flatheads though for me looks they're uh really pretty engines especially if you do like some aluminum um heads on there it's awesome because this is your head compared to this being your cylinder head and having a valve cover um, your valves are in your cylinder head on here your valves are in your block and then your cylinder head is just a combustion chamber spark plugs go in on the 350 your spark plugs come way in from the side um, I just like how compact the flathead is like I said I like the looks there's tons of accessories to make these look even better but for me looks the flathead is the way to go i just don't have any fords here or vehicles that i really feel like i should throw that engine in so it's for sale right now on marketplace out here but we'll see i'm not totally against throwing it in a chevy um i have a 1938 chevy out there that is probably going to get this 207 six cylinder engine um, the 38 Chevy actually would have came with a 216, which is a little different, but uh, I got this engine cheap, um, fairly complete, so I might go with that engine. Um, down here, you have a, like a push button starter, so you'd have a pedal on the floor, and uh, that is like your switch that connects the signal to uh, turn your starter over, which turns your flywheel which rotates your engine to try to get it started um, I love the distributor on the side over here it makes everything look really simple uh, your coils right above it it's just a very simple looking engine uh, your fuel pump is over here it has the cool little glass bowl uh, a little similar to the fuel pumps on a 350 the 350s are right here on the side also. Your water pump is right up front, which is connected to your fan blade. 
uh, you know, your crank. These actually had a hand crank start option. Um, I haven't got this engine to turn over yet. I haven't really played with it much. Uh, in the following videos, I'm going to get into it a little bit more. But this is another generator. I think they look good. I love the simplicity of this engine for sure. Um, narrow also, which is a plus on the older trucks. Uh, they have really narrow frame rails. So whenever you start trying to fit these real wide V8s in there, there's tons of issues. I'll show you that on the 36 here in a second. Like it's so tight in there. I think this is your crankcase ventilation tube. It just <laughs> ventilates down to the ground. Of course, my dog had to come check out the video. But uh, this is another thing that's different. Um, instead of your intake being on the top, your intake is on the side right here. Um, which means it's going to get nice and hot because it's right above your exhaust. Kind of crazy. Whatever. Um, this little spring here, I'm assuming it's like my Chevy 327 that I had. Um, it kind of heats up your throttle body for cold weather states. Um, but uh, some nice heavy intake and exhaust. Uh, cool setup. I think this engine is really cool. It's got the manual transmission on it. Um, real short transmission. Uh, I'm, I haven't messed with this engine, like I said, so who knows if any of this turns over, but I love how short it is, but like most things, the smaller they are, the less of a beating they can take. Um, this is the Chevy 350. I think this is like a SM465 208 transfer case on it. This thing is a beast. You can, they're behind big blocks and they can handle everything. This, this engine is going to tow my trailer and be on my four wheel drive 67. So I need it to handle a lot of abuse. Um, but I really like the air cleaner on here. I like the carburetor setup. Um, these engines are really tall and you would think because it looks pretty small that they're light, but they actually weigh quite a bit. Chevy 350. If you haven't seen one of these, I don't know where you've been, but it is uh, pretty much the generic every cheap hot rod has one. Um, you know, good power, obviously eight cylinder. Um, you know, they got power. They're reliable. Parts are cheap. Uh, you know, intakes up here, four barrel carb, distributors in the back. This one has a coil. Which is cool sometimes you'll see um without a coil just depending on the distributor um i haven't messed with this engine at all it's a i think a mexico block um it, the video it was running when i got it so um i just wanted something cheap because my 67 used to have this 5.3 liter in it so this is a ls engine you know the one everyone either loves or hates uh aluminum cylinder heads this one has aluminum block which is a little harder to get um size and everything this is a lot like the 350. um 5.3 liter is about like a 325 so it's a little smaller but these are very efficient they have tons of power usually they have a hideous intake on the top and you have your coil is individual coils right on top of the valve covers uh, all that looks gross in a hot rod. I'm sorry. I'm just that is what it is. I bought this It has this holly intake and uh, Delmo has a little uh, Bracket so you can put your throttle body on top and put a valve or a air cleaner on top So that this engine does not look as bad um, But the problem with this engine is these frame rails are so Narrow on these real old trucks that it is hard to squeeze one of these in here the amount of work I did to get this engine to fit is a little ridiculous. I have to notch out the front cross member. I had to make custom headers, which is so much work. Uh, if you don't know how to fabricate and stuff, that's so much money. Um, my header needs to avoid this uh, steering column. And luckily, these are really small steering columns on a 36. Uh, you know, I'm not going to have power steering or any big accessories on this. Because if I did, it would not fit. Um, or I'd have to modify the steering and all that. So pros and cons to all the engines. Um, the 5.3 liter with the 4L60E was the best upgrade I've ever done to an engine. I had a 305 in my 
67 short bed um, before and it was like horrible to merge lanes uh, super underpowered you know probably a million miles on it uh, probably no oil changes um, that 4L60 is a lot lighter you know I think the block is 80 pounds lighter by itself the cylinder heads probably 40 something pounds lighter and just everything was just runs a little better on those. They're just machined a little better, I feel like. 207, I'm sure, has no guts to it. <laughs> it probably just doesn't. Uh, you know, they weren't. those trucks weren't made to go crazy fast. So, you know, maybe 40, 50 miles an hour. Um, I heard shifting in them is a little rough, but at first I wanted that 38 Chevy to be very original. So I was just gonna keep it super cheap. That's another thing. You can get these older six cylinders cheap because People all want tons of horsepower and turbos and superchargers and trust me, I do too. I think that stuff's cool, but um, I'm on a budget. So uh, I was going to just get it all original, cruise it around. I think there's a difference between a hot rod um, with all new suspension and rides like a new car um, versus all original, it rattles, it feels like an old truck. That's kind of, you know, sometimes why you got the old truck, you want to remember those uh, old times. Uh, the flathead is cool, you know, like, it doesn't have a whole lot of power. Like, it's not going to be uh, a whole lot more power than the uh, 216. Uh, probably a decent amount more than the 207. Um, and you can modify it and spend a lot of money. But uh, it's just got an old, cool look to it. Sometimes the vibe and the sound is what you want. Um, the 350... That thing's gonna be a workhorse. Uh, you know, I drive my Ford truck a ton with the trailer and pick up parts and other trucks, and that's what the 67 is gonna be. So I just need it to work. I need it to be reliable, try not to break down on the side of the road with a bunch of parts. Um, that truck probably get air conditioning. You know, I'm not gonna go for 100% looks on it. I mean, I hate really ugly engine bays. Uh, as you'll see later, I love to clean all my wiring and make everything look really nice. Um, so, it is what it is as far as price on some of these. The flatheads are pricey. Maybe $1,500 for a flathead donor engine, you know. Maybe you can get it cheap if you're lucky. Good luck if it's not cracked. Um, seems like the six cylinders, the 235s and the 216s and the 207s are gonna be cheap mercury i don't know if it has um babbitt bearings which are like poured bearings uh really hard to replace you know pay a machine shop a ton of money um i know the 207s do the 216s do um the 235s switched over that's why a lot of people like the 235 plus they have a better oiling system i wanted the older one and uh you, you know the newer they get usually the more money they are the 350 super cheap i bought uh the whole engine transmission all that set up running with the video for like 800 bucks so i didn't have to worry about it all the parts are there which is cool 207 i haven't got to turn over yet i'm gonna pull the spark plugs and uh put some oil in the cylinders um let that sit uh try to rotate it i have got the flathead to turn over immediately the guy said it was rebuilt um i was really doubting it just because i always hear that um it had a little bit of a fire next to it so it kind of uh burnt a little bit of the carburetor um, but the rest of the engine looks totally fine. Turns over like a champ. It's so smooth. Um, so in a lot of ways, I, I would like to rebuild that. And uh, I really got to talk myself out of putting it in the 38 because I think it would be cool to have an old hot rod engine in that truck. Let me know what you guys think I should do with all the engines. Um, the 36 is stuck. It's getting that 5.3. Um, it already has engine mounts made and everything so it's is what it is 67 i know what that's going in but 38 chevy short bed let me know what you guys think i should throw in it you think i should throw the flathead in it and just uh change it up a little bit cool if you think i should throw the 207 or maybe try to get rid of all that and get that 292 straight six those are my engines thanks for watching